Hi, I'm having a great day. You're watching JUG Entertainment, and for this video, I'll be covering the box office of this past weekend, which include Sonic's uh, 2 opening weekend in the US, Ambulance opening weekend in the US, uh, Don Secrets of Dumbledore, I think that's how you say it, uh, opening weekend uh, in everywhere, well, like most everywhere besides the US, and then like the second, the third weekend of Lost City, second weekend of Morbius, and a little bit of Batman. So basically, I'm going to be covering all these movies, and it's going to be a really, really interesting video where I really go into depth on um, why these movies either flopped or were huge hits, especially Sonic 2. Like, I have a lot of greenness for Sonic 2, so just definitely make sure to be to stay tuned to the whole video so you can get all the info on every single movie, and I definitely think you're going to enjoy the video a lot if you're into box office breakdowns. So yeah, let's get started. So starting off obviously with Sonic 2 which debuted number one in the US uh, and it had an incredible incredible opening weekend like wow incredible way faster and more furious than anybody expected with a shocking opening weekend of 72.1 million dollars even more than it was expected just a few uh, days ago when, whenever Sunday numbers came in whenever it was estimated to open at 71 million so as you can see that they didn't even beat those estimates, so that means the movie is doing really, really strong, like really, really strong. So that's incredible. For comparison, Sonic One opened at fifty-eight million dollars, and this movie opened at seventy-two point one million dollars. So that's a really nice difference. That's actually like a really, really nice difference. Like that's like around fourteen million a little bit over, like that. So that's really good. That means the audience has definitely grown for this movie. And F, for more comparisons, F Nine opened at seventy million dollars, meaning that Sonic Two did beat F Nine, which is crazy. And the turnovers opened at seventy-one point three million dollars, uh, meaning that. Uh, Sonic 2 uh, beat a Marvel movie, which is just insane. That's really, really crazy. That just shows this goes to show you how strong this brand is gonna get and how this franchise is just starting. This franchise is gonna have so much memories at these box office numbers. And also, this is the biggest opening weekend for a Paramount movie since 2014. That's huge. That's like almost 10 years. So that means Paramount is definitely gonna milk this as much as they can because the numbers are there. The numbers are growing. Um, so that's incredible, incredible, incredible. And it's crazy because it's a video game movie. This is the biggest opening uh, for a video game movie by far, by a, by a large margin. So that's great. That's really, really good. So that's amazing for Sonic 2. And this is thanks to the incredible word of mouth. A little bit from critics. Uh, critics gave it a 67% on Rotten Tomatoes. But especially, especially audiences with a Rotten Tomatoes audience score of 97%. 97%. And a cinema score of an A, which is just insane. To get an A, it's super, super hard. So that's amazing. That means the audience completely loved this movie, which is great. I think that's really, really good. The, the audience really had an amazing time with this movie, and they really did fall in love. So that's great. That's really good for this movie. And this shows you the incredible word of mouth definitely helped the movie a lot by allowing the movie to have amazing holds each day on the weekend. From Friday to Sunday uh, to Saturday, it had an amazing hold. And then from Saturday to Sunday, it had an even more amazing hold. So that's, that's all things of the word of mouth. Why do I say this? Well, to put it to more comparisons, similar movies like Free Guy and Shang-Chi, which are also like a little bit smaller movies. Sir, Shang-Chi is kind of like a Marvel movie, but it's an unknown character. And Free Guy was original IP. They came out and they they, they came out with a really solid numbers. Um, and uh, that they they also had uh, incredible holds from each day in the weekend. And that's all thanks to the incredible word amount that each one of them had. Like an incredible, incredible word amount. And this is also to show you that Sonic 2 is going to be the like type of situation. And this is also to show you that this probably means that Sonic 2 is going to have an incredibly low uh, second weekend drop. I would even say maybe like in the really low 50s or maybe even in the 40 for 40s high 40s uh percent because it's just uh, the incredible number is definitely helping and when i put it into comparison with those other two movies free and shang chi they had incredible holds as well so i would not be be surprised if the movie had an incredible hold especially since it's also going to be the holiday uh weekend which means that the movie's going to have even a higher chance to have a way lower drop so yeah this movie's definitely going to have an amazing hold and that is great 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 for this movie families very much carry this movie with almost 60% of the audience being families. Showcasing once again that family movies are huge are huge strength uh in for the pandemic in this market, especially with animated movies being hits during the pandemic. Uh but Sonic 2 took it to a whole different level by becoming even bigger than pre-pandemic uh movies, which is just insane. So that's amazing. That's amazing for Sonic 2. That is able to get so much families out. And also, surprisingly, a large margin of the audience are also grown men, men over 35. That means that original Sonic fans are also showing up, which is amazing, amazing, amazing. Uh, that means that honestly the audience is very well rounded which is it's what you need to have ho uh, Hollywood blockbuster hit and that's just amazing that means that everybody enjoyed it including hardcore fans so that's amazing if you've seen the movie tell me what you thought about it down in the comments I'm gonna see it this weekend unfortunately I couldn't see it this past weekend very sad about that but I can't wait to see it and tell me what you thought about it down in the comments I'm definitely very very curious now internationally the movie added 37 million dollars this weekend where it had already opened in some other markets on the, on the past weekends and then it debuted on some markets this weekend and that's a pretty strong number and so now the international total stands at 70 million dollars 
which is pretty even with the domestic total, so that's really cool. And that means that the global box office for the movie right now stands at $142.1 million, which is really strong for Sonic 2. So that's an amazing, amazing start for Sonic 2, and it's going to get even better. It's going to go amazing. It's going to be crazy. And that's just all great news for Sonic 2. Um, so they already announced Sonic 3. The post credit scene apparently teases Sonic 3, and that's great. It's also said to be that this might be Jim Carrey's last movie, um, either that or Sonic 3, but I'm, uh, it's between those two. So if this is Jim Carrey's last movie, that is amazing. It's, his, it's the biggest opening of his career, and it's amazing that he's going to end in a super strong note. It's really, really good, and everybody seems to join his role in this movie, so that's great. Uh, it's good that if he is going to leave with this movie, he left in the in the highest note he could possibly end. So that's amazing, amazing, amazing. And uh, this definitely explains why they set up a Knuckles uh, spin-off series that's going to come to Paramount+. Plus. If you haven't heard about that, check out this video where I give you more info on that Knuckles uh, spin-off series that they're going to do for Paramount+. Plus. So check it out if you want more info on that. Um, and why Sonic 3 is announced. So definitely expect a lot more projects to be announced after these numbers. And after maybe the Knuckles show comes out, they expect a lot more stuff to be announced. So definitely expect that. And all green news for Sonic 2. Now, for not so great news, Ambulance's opening weekend uh, was of $8.7 million, debuting on the fourth place behind Sonic, The Lost City, and Morbius and the domestic box office, which is crazy. And it's opening weekend, it was fourth, it wasn't even top three, and it debuted with 8.7, so it couldn't even get to double digit numbers, which is very, very weak. It's a very weak opening, and I think the biggest factor to this is not really anything else besides the fact that these movies aren't appealing audiences to the theater anymore. And why do I think that's the case? Well, I think that's because of Netflix. I really do blame Netflix for this i think all the netflix action movies that they're doing are hurting theatrical movies like these i read like these like ambulance uh whereas where people before would be like yeah let's go watch this new action movie now people are used to seeing these type of action movies at home not like big super blockbuster spectacle but a little bit more like action kind of like a little bit more street um they're already used to watching this at home and netflix netflix makes so much movies and uh, there's so much like these that at this point people are just used to watching things on netflix it's like these are these are movies that they're used to seeing on streaming as they're seen in the theaters and i think it shows i think it shows that um people are not interested to go to the theaters anymore to, for, to see these type of movies i think they want to see them at home which is why i think this was gonna do amazing amazing once they get releases for pvod and then on streaming services i think it's gonna do amazing but but in theaters, I think it's not, and it's already not doing amazing, and that's that's really bad for this movie. But like I said, I think it still has a market, but it's not going to be in theaters. That's that's basically what I think. I really do think this is Netflix's fault, and I think that's just going to show that the, the, the box office is really just starting to become which movie can give you the biggest spectacle and the biggest audience uh, enjoyment. And I think that's eventually what the, the box office is just going to become, and everything else is going to come out on streaming. I think that's where this is kind of taking taking us the theatrical versus streaming wars. I think that just. I think that's going to end up being where it takes us. So that's basically it. Um, but yeah, I think that's very, very interesting. Very fascinating how it really gets to kill a movie like this. But overall, it's still not terrible. The movie has made $22.5 million internationally, uh, which is a, a way way stronger than than its main domestic. And this puts its total global gross at $31.9 million, which is it's decent. It's kind of bad, to be honest. But, but the budget of the movie was only at $40 million, meaning that it's about to beat its budget, so at least it won't be terrible. It won't be a huge flop. At least it has a pretty nice chance to make some profit. So that's really, really good. And the people that did see this movie liked it a lot, giving it an A minus in the cinema score, which is crazy. A minus is really hard to get as well. Uh, you really have to make the audience like your movie. So to, for the movie to get an A minus, that was really, really good. So we'll see how much uh, legs the movie has as the weekends go on because of this great word of mouth. But like I said, I don't think a lot of audience is interested in it. So yeah, it's like a 50-50. Uh, audience really liked it. The people that they go watch it, and it's about to be this budget. But besides that, it's a very weak opening, not enough audience appeal, and that's mostly just because of Netflix. So we, I guess we have to wait and see to, uh, to how second we can drop it to truly tell whether this movie was a flop or a hit. So that's basically it. But uh, very interesting, very interesting how Netflix is doing this to lower budget action movies. Okay, now moving on to Morbius. And Morbius' second we can drop was of 73.8%. War's second we can drop of any any superhero movie which is just insane that's huge that's a huge huge drop that's really bad record for Morbius to have like a really bad one that's that's terrible it got 10.2 million dollars getting second place this weekend so i still got second place but that's still really bad at least it's, uh, it, it's not really a like, bright side to this 73.8 percent drop is a huge 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 drop just to have a seven in front of it that's Terrible. That's really, really bad. Six is already like bad enough, um, but it's at least respectable. But a seven is just like whew, that's really, really bad. Uh, so yeah, not a great, 
uh, definitely the word amount definitely, definitely hit Morbius hard on its second weekend. The domestic total now stands at $57 million, uh, and it's estimated to end its domestic run between $70 and $80 million, which is really, really bad, especially when your old movie opened like, uh, at 40, almost $40 million. I think that, that was like an obvious, it's going to make it to $100 million. But no, it's going to, thanks to this like, terrible hold to the, ter- to the terrible word amount, it's not even going to make it to uh, $100 million, not even to $90 million. It's going to stay between $70 to $80 million. So that is crazy. That's really, really low. Um, that definitely sucks for Morbius a lot. The international total is stands at $69.3 million, meaning that the global total right now is at $126.3 million. So it's 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 okay. The budget of the movie is of $75 million, so at least it already beat its budget. However, you usually have to double your budget to make profit. So uh, I, I do think it's I do think it's gonna be able to double its um, budget, but even at that, I don't think the movie is a huge hit. Like Sony was expecting, I don't think it was the great spin-off movie that they were expecting, like on box office wise. So um, uh, like I said, I do just think that the word amount completely destroyed this movie. It has a cinema score of a C plus, which is really really bad like really really bad usually if the audience is like middle on it they'll give it a b and that's already like that's eh, that's that's worrisome but a c plus is terrible like really really terrible so not great for this movie it also has a rotten tomato score of 16 percent, which is also really terrible so mm, that sucks so this, this terrible word amount has definitely led this movie to crash and burn against uh, the competitor Sonic 2 which is what drove all everybody the families uh, the grown ups everybody was like okay let's watch Sonic 2 and still more worries and that's basically what ended up killing it so that's basically the competition and just the terror would amount so that's crazy we'll see what Sony decides to do after this but I don't think that the next movie that they're making which is Crimson the Hunter which is already filming should definitely definitely uh, check again to check their script check everything so that it does not have this terror would amount because this terror would amount is what's going to kill its franchise so if they have another I think if they have another critically hated movie with the audience also not liking it then i think that uh their sony verse is in trouble i really do think that so we'll see what's going to go on but this is not a great sign for the sony verse that they're trying to do with morbius and vulture and everybody on that movie so not great all right moving on to different news fantastic beast a circuit of dumbledore uh uh, debuted in a bunch of markets internationally in 22 markets to be exact and the movie grossed 56.9 million dollars which is really really good that's actually really really good uh and this is ahead of its domestic release uh this upcoming week so uh, next week we're going to see how it does domestically or this week i guess because we're in this week so yeah it's striking nine percent higher than dune uh and it's slightly tracking lower than the Batman. So it's like pretty nice, pretty uh, much in there. Um, however, Fantastic Beast does not have like an HBO Max component. So we'll see how that does domestically. It can definitely be doing domestically, I think. And I think this was gonna eventually make this movie be a much bigger hit than Dune. Um, however, I don't think it has as much appeal domestically compared to the Batman. Uh, so the Batman is kind of like low internationally. Like it's not getting that much money internationally, but it's super high up domestically. So because it has a, sh- a, a great domestic appeal in the US, uh, so that's why it's amazing box office. And Fantastic Beasts, Secrets of Dumbledore definitely does not have that amazing domestic appeal. So I think that when we still are all going to do like a pretty nice, like I would say nice amount of box office, but it won't be like huge and won't be amazing. And especially since China right now is like really, really weak with COVID cases coming back up and everything, I don't I don't think this movie is going to match its previous predecessors. But we'll find out. We'll find out. The word amount for this movie is definitely... For this movie definitely is a way way stronger but there's a bunch of controversy going on with this movie so it's really like a really wild card to see where this movie's going to debut uh on the us so i can't wait to cover that next week i think it's going to be super super interesting so yeah definitely subscribe if you want to check out uh, that box office breakdown all right moving on to another movie and that is the lost city in the last city uh third weekend dropped only 38.6 percent which is actually a pretty low drop that's actually a really nice drop and like I said, that was on the third weekend, and it earned the third spot. It's about, it's ranked third, then the best at box office. Um, Sonic, Morbius, then The Lost City, then Ambulance. So, as you can see, the Ambulance is really low up there. But Lost City is actually doing pretty good. Like I said, 38.6% drop. It's really, really nice. That, it earned $9 million this weekend. Um, so, nice number, I guess. This leaves the movie at the domestic total at $68.7 million. And the international box office movie has a total of $9.7 million. So internationally, the movie's doing terrible. But domestically, the movie's doing really nice. I think the movie's doing really nice. So that's great for the movie. The movie does have a budget of $68 million. And the movie just beat that by getting to $68.7 million domestically. So it's like, eh. So the total is higher. It's like at $70 something million uh, or like uh, $80 million. So it did already beat its budget. But, but... And not by a lot. Like I said, you should have to double your budget to get a profit. And this movie is definitely not going to double its budget. So we'll see how it does on um, PVOD. So I, don't, I wouldn't call this movie a flop. And I wouldn't call it a hit. I think it's like a decent box office 
movie. Like, I don't think it did amazing, but I don't think it did well, super bad. And it is a Paramount release. I don't think they really care that much of, like, of how it did. I think that's a really nice number for Paramount, especially since they have Sonic 2 right now doing amazing. They're probably like, okay, we just want decent numbers for this movie. We just want to, to make enough money from it. And I think they're making enough money from it to be like, okay, we're okay with it. So I think that's really cool. Um, and the movie, it's, it does have, like, pretty good word of as well. So that's great for the movie. All right, now we're on to the last thing, and that's going to be the Batman. And the Batman has now grossed $359 million on its domestic box office and $376.1 million on its international box office. So this puts it at a total, a global total of $735.1 million, which is a decent number. It's actually going to be, it's actually weaker than it was expected. Um, it was supposed, everybody was supposed to for it to hit $800 million. Uh, I don't know if that's possible anymore. Um, the movie does hit HBO Max this upcoming Monday on April 18th. So that's a really nice number, but uh, we'll see whether this movie debuts. If you wanna see the stock markets, you can check it out right here. I have the full coverage on the stock markets and everything and the division, so definitely check it out. You can possibly do want to analyze it a little bit more. But the movie definitely, is, I don't think it's gonna hit, uh, definitely not 900 million, definitely not a billion. And it might not even hit 800 million, so it didn't do like incredibly well. It just did, uh, it did good. The movie did good domestically a lot. Like it had a really nice domestic, box office but internationally the movie didn't do as great so i think that was where they eventually led this movie to its failure and also the fact the movie did not cross 400 million domestically also let it down a little bit but like i said i think it's something that movie did really good box office wise it just wasn't like oh my god it's a huge huge hit no it was just like okay this is pretty nice i, I would consider that I, I would just say this is pretty nice especially since the batman movie is a lot cheaper than most recent superhero movies i think you can definitely expect this movie to get a sequel announced i don't know why it hasn't been announced yet but definitely an announcement for the sequel and everything and yeah the movie's just the movie's gonna be fine the movie did really nice box office numbers like i said it was it was just not groundbreaking but that's pretty much it so yeah that's the box office for this past weekend i hope you really really enjoyed this video i really hope you did um definitely make sure to subscribe for a lot of content next week i'm gonna be covering secret Salvador uh opening weekend in the u.s as well as Sonic 2's second weekend drop and so on and so on so subscribe for that as well as uh I, i'm gonna be making a much more videos on the batman since it's, it does debut on hbo max so subscribe for all those batman videos as well if you want more batman videos subscribe for that and especially since, since if you're gonna see it on hbo max this past month this monday that's coming up then definitely subscribe so you can get that coverage right after you finish watching the movie and tell me any that you have about this video the movies did you go see them uh, the box office numbers anything you have down in the comments i'm definitely very curious to read all your comments so definitely tell me that all that down in the comments and yeah that'll be it for this video thanks for watching hope you have a great rest of your day and this is jb entertainment out